Welcome. Um, I want to introduce Augusto Martins. He's going to translate for us tonight. And I first want to introduce to you um, Mr. Richard Bath. He's a former school committee member. He's uh, the head of the transitional team and a college professor of the South College. So. Thanks. Thanks very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity. You can talk, and then I'll thumbs up for you to stop. All right, we're trying to get the, the translation straight here. So I want to uh, thank you again. Thank you for coming, everybody. Um, we are, uh, this is the third uh, meeting of the listening tour with our superintendent, Kathy Smith. Primeiro, pode fazer a apresentação, doutor... Silva apresenta a senhora Richard Beth, ele é membro de equipe de transição de superintendente, é, doutora Smith, e primeiro de tudo esta vai falar sobre visitas que esta que esta estado de fazer para a escuta opinião de pais e não espera que todo o país participe e para que o superintendente pode incluir nesse plano todo o anseio de pais. Uh, over the next 60 minutes or one hour, we're going to ask that you ask the superintendent Kathy Smith questions. The purpose of this meeting is to hear from the parents of this school about their concerns, what they would like to see uh, happen within the school and within the district. Nes um mar de tempo, não vai saber que todo o país te faz a pergunta, tu bide não se permite, faz a pergunta, o que é que as crianças estão acontecendo na escola para melhor. And and it's really important that the parents be involved in this tonight, because in in order for us to do the plan that we want to do for the district, uh, we need to hear from parents specifically. Parents and uh, grandparents or whatever that, that have something that they want to talk or address with the superintendent. Extremamente importante que pais participem nessa reunião, expressem suas ideias e esse foi o que este gosto de hoje na escola para ser levado a cabo. Porque de outra forma, nunca saber o que é que se passa muitas vezes lá fora. And the goal for tonight's meeting simply is to come away with your thoughts that we can put into this plan. So, uh, Superintendent Smith is going to direct her remarks to you and we would love for you to direct your remarks back to the superintendent. So, without any, without any further ado, uh, let me introduce you to the superintendent, Kathy Smith. Portanto, não te pensa que os anseios devem ser incorporados no plano de superintendente Smith. Nesse momento, essa vai falar, ele vai falar o que você pensa. Depois, então, eu vou fazer pergunta ou eu vou fazer proposta para o superintendente Smith. Thank you. Thank you very much. Obrigado. You have to know how special this is for me at, to be at East Middle School. It was once called East Junior High, and I taught here for 10 years. So this is a very special place to me. I stood in this very cafeteria, had cafeteria duty, had dances for all our students. So it, it was a, just a wonderful, wonderful experience to work with those children back in the 1980s and 1990s. É, portanto, eu tenho estudo como é hoje um dia muito especial para mim, porque este Middle School now, um beijo chamado East Junior High, foi a escola que começa a trabalhar primeiro em anos 80. Foi nessa cafeteria ali que me faz trabalho, que eu observo meninos na almoço, na página de fim de ano. Portanto, este lugar é um especial, e que é especial atenção também para todo aluno e para East Middle School. And I have to tell you that yesterday, I had no voice. So today I've been working very hard to stay quiet, which is difficult for me, so that I can actually come in and answer your questions and talk to you about my plans going forward as your superintendent. 
Ontem que estava com voz muito direto, portanto hoje eu preferi que fale muito show, porque hoje pegou-se nesse momento precisamente em falar com nós, portanto não queria falar com nós, plano que entende, nem não queria esperar a participação também para esse plano ser melhor. Uh, questions? Quem quiser a pergunta? Quem quiser fazer alguma pergunta, levanta a mão. Um, so part of your transition plan is to uh, get all members of the community involved and some members on the uh, school committee meeting uh, expressed concern over the elementary ELA scores on MCAS. Um, they were saying that although there's a strong foundation for Spanish speaking and Haitian Creole speaking ESL students, that foundation isn't there for Cape Verdean Creole speaking um, ESL students. So I was wondering if you have given thought to looking at the Cape Verdean Association of Brockton's language classes as a model to help the most, uh, the students, students most in need. Um, because that was one of the big reasons. Well, one of the things we have here in Brockton certainly is we have a, a large bilingual department. We are continually looking for ways to make sure that every child has an opportunity in the Brockton public schools. And for some children, coming here at a very early age, not having a grasp of the, the English language. It takes us a little more time to get them up to speed, but I'm pleased to tell you that a lot of the innovations we have by the time they reach 10th grade at Brockton High School and take their MCAS test, they are very successful. We had a 95% passage rate this year on our English language arts. The first question I want to ask is Senor Lee, I Fora como uh, na lado espanhol, score de MCAS se subir para Rio, na Haitiana também se subir, mas na Cabo Verdeana tem algumas discrepâncias ali na meio. Eu perguntei e surpreendente de Smith, fora como realmente leva um bocado de tempo para alunos conseguir aprender inglês e continuar para frente. Mas, com todo medida que tem estado a tomar, com novas inovações de tecnologia e de ensino que se fazia, a gente pensa como vai, décimo ano, ainda que é obrigado o dinheiro passa deste MCAS. And last year on grade eight, she got proficient math, proficient ELA, and advanced science. So thank you for sharing that and congratulations. Other questions, please. One more question here. Yeah. yeah, Madam Minton, what features in the scholar Lee? Because it's been Lee, it's been one and a half in America. Because it's been a lot of problems in mathematics, in English, in science, it's still a lot more advanced. Mas às vezes tem o problema com na matemática depois, às vezes o que se vai casa é um bocadinho esta crepa judas na matemática, mas às vezes que se matéria é um bocadinho duro para eles e para mim para judas ao mesmo tempo tudo isso. E depois eu queria perguntar qual é a solução que a escola ou que o superintendente pode oferecer para ajudar Yes, and tudo que os outros alunos que estão bem chegando cá o verde, para as vezes a maioria de alunos que estão bem chegando cá o verde, nem tudo, e as vezes tem um problema na disciplinas de por ser dentro de ciências ou matemática, e se não pode hoje se pode criar um programa um after school dentro de after school mesmo ou na cada na cada escola que se ali pode se poder ajudar para suportar para se poder treinar. Às vezes tem outros que também ali estão na 7 grau ou outro que está na 5 ou 6 e dentro que às vezes está bem chegando na idade de barra high school e depois está chegando com dificuldade de, de ter uma nota alta para segurar e depois o que está chegando na idade de barra colégio às vezes fica na tia o problema. Ok, obrigado. Uh, I'm a parent of four children here at East Middle School. They came about a year and a half ago. Uh, they doing well in English and social studies, but they have some problem with math. Um, 
he is happy with what they do here at East Junior High, but he was wondering if there is any program that you think later on to establish here at East Junior Middle School to have these students doing their homework and continue the education, because I would love to do that to help them, but my English is limited. There is no way for me to help them do homework and other stuff. I have to tell you, uh, I've been out listening to parents uh, of Haitian children. I've been out listening to parents just throughout the district, English-speaking parents. Everyone has a concern about the math scores. And many parents have concerns about how do we help our children in math. One of the things that we are trying to do in my transition plan, we've had a lot of success with getting grants throughout the district. And I'm looking at your principal and a lot of your staff members I've worked with. Many of you have worked in the programs after school. You've worked in the summer programs. Right now, that is our way to support you. We have to do a better job. I'm looking to bring in additional grant writers, additional development writers, so that we can provide after-school opportunities for many more children than we have capacity in the budget to do now. Because I know you need that assistance, and parents need that across the district. <coughs> Uh, Superintendente Smith falou como realmente é preocupação também da escola, se a administração, a nova administração. A eh, escola tem tido muito sucesso em encontrar dinheiro para financiar o programa de after school. Esse vai continuar a fazer a mesma coisa, esse vai tentar aumentar dinheiro para ele conseguir muito mais meninos para ficar no programa de after school e, consequentemente, para ajudar-se por um saber a maioria do país que, que tem possibilidade, por causa do inglês, de eh, ajudar esses meninos na escola. Também a preocupação de toda escola, de toda comunidade, que meninos mesmo têm mais programas depois da escola, eles podem avançar mais, não têm garantias, como está procurando mais dinheiro, e depois no todo dia aumenta mais programas de after school. Other questions? Uh, do caso, meu primeiro caso é uh, esse intensificar para sempre atrasado o número de vezes um pouco de franca ser certo quanto atraso que este ano de chegar mas um oito ou nove mais ou menos este ano que ser certo não queria saber quais é as consequências de aquele atraso que ele na escola com o que vem a casa essa função mas uma que tem um problema segunda consequência uh, tem outro um que está na baia língua é uma professora em inglês, uma empanola de inglês, e conforme consulta no site de, de programa de escola que tem, e na rumor que tem feito, tem 75% de aproveitamento, mas rumor que está no rumor. Me perguntar, é que ela é quer saber o que ela faz. Me falar por que se vou estar na baia língua, uma hora que alguém quer dizer algo. Ela não, mas não é professora em inglês, e que tem ninguém para falar. Esse é para ler, que é que entende, para responder, que é que nunca entende, mas que sempre faz. Agora, se tem algum apoio na questão ali. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have two children, one at Brockton High School, another one at here, at East Middle School, the one at Brockton High School. His attendance is not good. He is getting tardy most of the time. I don't know why. Never, I, was, I was never called. I don't know what the consequences are for getting tired to school. So if you please can enlighten me on this. My middle school students, he just came. Uh, his English teacher is American speaking. There is no help at classroom, so he cannot understand what is asked of him to do, what the directions are, what he needs to do inside the classroom and outside. He has been having a problem communicating with teacher, which is English speaking. Okay, so the question is that you have students in the schools that are new to the country, and the students in school during their instruction are having difficulty understanding the instructions or the teaching which is done in English. In every one of our classrooms, my understanding is for certain that are in, we've got sheltered English immersion, classes where there is supposed to be some assistance, especially when giving directions to our students. Is this a student at a middle school or high school or both? Have you attempted to reach out to anybody to the bilingual department at the high school?
Uh, with the council, guidance council at the Brockton. He Brockton just Council. started. He just started. I ask okay. him to continue to do that with the guidance council and see. Wait. First, first of all, the one thing that we want, certainly in this country, is for your child to come here to learn the English language and to be successful. We want them to be comfortable in school, like every child. We want them to have every opportunity the ever, every other child has to be successful, to go to college, to have a good career. We need to hear if that's not happening for your child. We can't lose one child in school. I've worked in this district for 37 years. I taught special needs children. I've worked as an adjustment counselor. Every child is important to me as your superintendent. If you're having difficulty, please contact the school. Ask to speak to the principal, the assistant principal. Share your concerns. Try to reach out to the teacher. If that's not something you're having success with, make sure that you're getting in touch with the superintendent's office. Now, one of the things I'd also like to do, and I talked about this in interviewing, is I would like to set up for special needs parents a place in the district where they have all kinds of resources and they can advocate together for special needs students. I want to do the same for bilingual parents. I want you to be empowered as a parent and to get what you need to support your children. I know many of you need English language classes. When I met with other parents, they were concerned that they didn't have opportunities. There was a two-year waiting list at the Adult Learning Center. I'm hearing all of those things and I will address them. Portanto, me encarregou de como começava como como professor de educação especial, depois eu mudei para conselheiro e durante todo o meu termo de serviço, todo menino é importante para mim, tudo é igual para mim, em trabalho de igual para todo menino. Portanto, não está para tudo para isso. Como assim eles têm qualquer problema? Primeiro eu tento falar com o reitor, o diretor, o vice-diretor, com o professor, com o conselheiro. Entretanto, se os problemas que está resolvido, eles tentam em contato com a secretaria de superintendente, porque também se disposto a fazer que todo menino servia de igual e que todo menino atendia as suas necessidades e resolve esses problemas. Portanto, eu os levo em consideração. Principal, assistente principal, tudo gente escola. Depois, eu não consegui nada estar comigo. Também quero falar com uma preocupação de todo o país é no sentido de tratar todo mundo desigual. Portanto, nós estamos ali para não fazer e para não resolver nosso problema. Portanto, qualquer coisa, eu falo principal para mim, se eu conseguir resolver esse problema ali na escola, então isso pode vir para subir para o superintendente e o assunto vai ser resolvido. Mas quero garantir que todo aluno é igual para mim, tudo merece o mesmo respeito e tratamento que isso pode suceder na cidade. Do not speak or does not speak English yet, and this student has a teacher that he does not understand because the teacher in the classroom speaks only English. So then, is the student misplaced? Uh, Would you make sure we get the information? Thank you. Oh, também já que se atende Monte Santana para ele ao mesmo tempo. Superintendente Smith também queria criar dois centros. Um centro para meninos com deficiência de aprendizagem, onde é que o país está bem, tem conta tudo, informação, alguém te ajudar a fazer, prestar as informações e tudo. E também ele queria criar mais um centro para alunos de língua, onde é que o país entra na escola, se tem alguém que pode entender isso, que te fala com eles e que te toma medidas para se esse problema ser resolvido. Portanto, nós criamos vários centros na escola, a toda escola, a todo nível, que o país chega, tem interesse, sente na casa, e se pode ter esse problema resolvido. Questions? No meu caso, é o mesmo problema. Eu bem conheço filho de Portugal, é a mesma língua portuguesa com o Cabo Verde. A moda na Cabo Verde, na Portugal, está falando. Na Cabo Verde, fala com o crioulo, na escola é, é, é português. Então, no bem para ali, é, ou na Portugal, de, de primeira classe para segunda classe, passagem obrigatória. Então, é passa tanto no bem ali, e tem sete anos. E bem, eu na segunda classe. Eu tive cinco mil na escola, eu passei para a terceira classe, eu não sabia nada. Eu não sabia nada na escola, eu não sabia nada na na segunda classe. Pelo menos, eu tive uma base para continuar, para bem. 
mas nada, nada é que eu sabe. Eu só espero a resposta de ti, ainda tem duas semanas que espero a resposta. Uh, my son goes to the Davis School. He is in third grade now. He came from Portugal last year, and then he had first grade in Portugal. Now, when he came, he started second grade, and then after three months of education, he advanced him to grade three. But now, he's having problems in the grade three because he cannot go with the curriculum. She thinks that she, he should not be advanced to grade three and then stay back in grade two. I'm so sorry, where is he? I, I didn't Davis. Right, he's at the Davis. Davis. Third grade now at the Davis. He right. came at the very end of last year for three months. And then actually this year he was advanced to grade three. Mom thinks that he was he should be staying back in second grade, not advanced to grade three. Okay, uh, your question is about your student in third grade who was advanced, to and mom has questions and thinks he's not ready for third grade. You know, one of the things we want to do again is to make sure students are able to graduate on time. But as I said to you, they need to be successful. They need to have the skills. And every grade builds up to having the skills to go into the next grade. If you're having difficulty with your student at a particular grade, you need to immediately contact the teacher. Contact the personnel at the school to have these discussions. Parents have every right to sit down and to share with the staff at a school what the difficulties are. Is there extra help available for your child? What are the things you can help your child with at home? Are there after school programs that the child can get involved with? Most of the time in the district, we don't look to keep children back. We want to keep them moving forward to be with their peers of like ages. So our goal, again, is to resource that teacher, that family, with as much support we can to have the student advance. So I would make sure that, again, they're contacting people at the school. É, coisa que me pode falar de nós é que tem que bem na escola, não tem fazer tudo para meninos, a partir do momento que eles começam a escola, tem que chegar a pés graduar com fundamento e com aproveitamento. É, sistema é diferente, portanto, é, mudança de grau pode continuar, mas se realmente meninos ainda têm problema, é coisa que eles sugerem a contar com a escola, a parte com o professor, ou já, coisa que meninos fazem, coisa que ele pode fazer, coisa que ele pode fazer, tem ajuda de ajudar a subir. Ele aproveita para estar no nível da terceira classe, ou que tem ajuda, ou então, se ele pode estar na terceira classe, que ele pode chegar para baixo. Ele te convida a ganhar, para falar com o professor, para insistir com a PSP, menino. Se você pode dar ajuda, que ele está avançando, ele continua na terceira classe, sem problema, porque tem problema, pode ficar na terceira classe. Mas se você conseguir acompanhar, é melhor então falar com o professor, para mudar para trás. Amanhã vai à escola, se tiver qualquer problema, depois eu te contacto. Mas primeiro, eu vou à escola. Mom did a first visit to the Davis School, and then someone told her that someone will contact her later on. It has been too long without any contact with mom, and mom is concerned and wants him to stay back. Somebody should be back to you, certainly, uh, within two days at the most. So please make sure that we have that, and I'll follow up with that. Thank you. Um, as far as kids uh, moving on to high school, I try to get a tour of the high school while I make the decision as to whether or not I want my son to go to the high school. And I was told that there is an eighth grade orientation open house in February. But that's a little late um, as far as making a decision for other schools. So is that, is that um, I agree with a you. policy that you can't visit the school? It's certainly not a policy. I mean, if you look at the school on the hill up here, Cardinal Spellman, I see the signs all over the city right now. They're actively looking to have eighth graders come to look at that school, or whether it's the public school. I think Southeastern Regional has theirs in October. They want you to come and visit the school. That's a good suggestion. I really hadn't realized it was so late. So what would I, do I insist on the, on the I love the idea. No, you know what? We need to be competitive, and, and when I say competitive, there's a, no better education than you can get here in the Brockton Public Schools. Right. It's not for every child, it's for 17,000 children, and it's for 4,200 children at Brockton High School. 
So again, I think that's an excellent suggestion. We should be showing all of you, especially parents at a middle school level, who do need to make decisions about their child's education. But at this very moment, I am looking for a tour, so should I just insist that I get a tour of the school? I, I don't think that's a problem. I could certainly talk to Principal Walter up there. Um, if there's a group that wants to do it at, at any time, if there are others in the audience, maybe if we could, uh, if we could take a list tonight of people that would like to see Brockton High rather than just have... It'd be a little hard to have everybody come up while the school is in session. I, th I think it's a great way to showcase. I love going into the schools. I try to spend as much time as I can, and there's no, today I was at the Huntington School, and it is great to see the teaching that's going on. I'm counting heads because I want to know how many children are in those classes. You know, are our classes too large? I'm looking at what's up on the walls. I hope you take every opportunity with open houses Parent-teacher conferences are coming up in November. When your school has any kind of a special event going on, these are things that you need to do. Parents need to be empowered to make all those decisions for your children and to make sure that school is where you want to send your child. So we can, we can certainly take a look at, at having you see school in session. Any other questions? in the Barton school system, but is there any thought of um, teachers or having it standardized that the teachers provide like a syllabus or an outline of what is being taught? Because it is almost just like one sheet, and I know there are much more of these in the back than six or seven year olds who may not get it. Okay. This is a great question. So the question is, has younger children in the school just coming in, and as a parent, the parent wants to know, What's the syllabus? What, what's going on for homework? What's happening in the classroom? And with all of the new things happening with Common Core, this is great for parents to be able to see what is happening. There are some changes with our curriculum. Next week, on the 30th of October, I'm actually going to visit another school district that has something called the Parent Portal. And what the Parent Portal is, it's part of our student management system. We have something called Infinite Campus. It's all of your information, the students' information, and it connects the teacher and the school with an opportunity for the parent in a web-based program to go on and see what the kids are doing. The, you know, the teacher can put homework assignments up, you can share grades, and you would have a special way of getting in just for your child under the parent portal. So we're actually going to view this in a school system next week. One of the things in my previous job, I keep, I'm sorry, I'll let you. Ok, a pergunta que fazer é o seguinte, aquela senhora ela tem um menino na primeira classe, ela chega a casa com folha de papel para rumor, mas saber como realmente passa muito mais coisas na escola, ele prende muito mais que ele folha de papel. Ele queria saber se tem maneira de checar a informação na escola, pode correr com os itens sílabos, coisa que está na escola, coisa que está dada, etc, etc. É, Surpreendendo a entrada, toda a razão da pergunta, começa a trabalhar no sentido de criar, se lá visita mais um sistema escolar fora do Brock, onde é que se tem um que se chama portal de um estudante, onde é que pais com professores com escola te comunica diretamente e cada um te sabe o que é que se passa em cima do acontecimento que você fez, por exemplo, matéria que dá do hoje, matéria que dá do manhã, nota de serviço, trabalho em atraso, mas aquele tudo de fazer com segurança que cada pai tem entre todos, só se informação, ninguém mais que todos a informação do outro alguém. Portanto, se trabalhar no sentido de estabelecer uma comunicação mais alargada com o país, através de um portal de estudante. I started to mention that as the director of community school, my previous job, one of the things I tried to do for the district was to make sure that we would advance with technology. We found a way with the driver education program at Brockton High School to make sure with a program called Schedule to Drive that the students could sign up and do all their driving, scheduling their hours online. Parents that want to sign their children up to go to fun programs through community schools or adult programs now can go online to sign their children up for these programs. It wasn't easy at first to convince people that this district needs technology and that and the parents need to access technology. I recently had an opportunity with a program called Footsteps to Brilliance. And this is a program for children from ages three to seven. 
and this will be given to every parent in our zip codes in Brockton. It doesn't matter if you go to a private school, Catholic school, public school. It'll be a way for you to access literature for your children. You could be in the car and have your iPhone and have access to vocabulary, stories, starting your children at a very young age, again, using technology with our families. É, portanto, não podemos falar como é que eu trabalho 20 anos e tinha sido nomeado superintendente de escola, diretor de escola comunitária. É, foi difícil no princípio, não pensa na ele, não consegui fazer, por exemplo, criar registro de para cada classe de after school, programa, botar para online, botar sim, botar entre o programa de escola de condução também é a mesma coisa, eu consegui fazer horário de, de estudantes que estão na escola de condução, a hora que ele tem que ser horário que ele vai fazer exame, a hora que ele vai para a escola de condução, e ele se pensa também criar mais um website onde que país, na carro, tanto com o seu telefone, na mão, ele pode hoje, tudo o que se passa na escola, o programa que o ministro Nael, lição do dado hoje, mãe e depois, portanto, tem que investir na escola, tem que investir em tecnologia, pode ser, ele está próximo de pais, pais que os escola são mais perto em comunicação, que se pode saber o que se passa e, consequentemente, ajuda a ser ministro de melhor maneira ao contato da escola. Então, tecnologia é caminho para seguir. I also want to say to you, I am very impressed tonight at the turnout. I can't thank you enough. But the one thing I want to say to you is, this is great information to me to hear what you're feeling, what you want for your children. I mentioned this when I spoke to the Haitian-speaking parents about two weeks ago. I don't think this should just be a listening tour where a new superintendent comes out to get information for planning their entry plan. I would like to come out on a regular basis. If you're willing to come out to the schools, maybe this is something I do a few times a year, I come out and I hear your questions. You understand the format. This also is televised on cable, so people that aren't able to come out can also hear. Probably they have a lot of your same questions. So I think this is really an excellent forum, and I thank you for coming out tonight. Eu estou altamente impressionado com essa reunião de hoje e realmente, porque as outras reuniões também que teve, teve o mesmo tipo de pergunta, que estão, tudo gente está participa, tem informações de novos, não ouvi, portanto, é a melhor maneira de nos ter em contato, talvez, então, sugerir que de vez em quando, um, dois, três vezes para ano, não reunir, não encontra, não fala, não apresenta uh, sugestão e não estou de que maneira que o curso está bem, portanto, não continua a fazer isso e não continua a ser surpreendente, não está, periodicamente, tem contrato a fala, para nós, sinto então, melhor a qualidade de educação ali na Brava. Other questions? Boa noite. Minha pergunta é about que as regras que está por na, na escola, que sometimes, próprio alguém que está dentro da escola, que está, que está cumpre. Está quando sei que ontem o papai e minha filha na escola, na escola cedo, e quando quem chega na office, na Uh, dos, um senhor e um senhor da trabalho. Então, isso trai o meu filho na, na minha, minha filha que se responde. E torna a chama na classe e a casa. Mas estava na classe. O problema é que está a conseguir achar. Aquela senhora manda um pão para o meu filho no telefone. Me chama no telefone um vez. Teacher, essa na classe, teacher que acrepa ela atender o telefone. Mas foi dito uma semana que se tinha mal para manter apontimento. Em torno de chamar mais um beijo, mas esse que se manda para o choma. Então, quando o choma dito da minha filha um, um papel que ele tem que ir para a office, entrega aquele telefone para que pode atender o telefone na, dentro da sala de aula. Então, quando ele vem a Alexandra, mas aquele senhor que está atendendo, Falei, ok, não te tirava o velho para o mundo e é nós que manda o mãe para o chão lá. Então, ele torna a classe para trás e leva a ser teacher, aquele noto que aquele senhor que está na office trabalha a ajudar. Ele vai a teacher para ele te tira. Hoje ele te chega cá, ele vem chateado. Para o mundo, para a segunda-feira, ele tem que ficar o dia parado num lugar para o mundo que ele telefone. O aí, então, que se põe uma regra na escola, e próprio alguém que está dentro de escola, está trabalhando dentro de escola, te manda um mail para o homem ser filho, ele tem que vir em aquele apontimento. Para a moda, então, que depois te manda um mail para o homem, que aquele menino te condena o telefone, e se bem condena aquele menino, porque aquele menino fica com raiva. Deve segunda-feira que te vai só, para mim que te vai ficar um dia sem que ele fazer nada. Brockton High School. 
Uh, my daughter goes to Broughton High School. Yesterday I went down to the Smiths for a doctor appointment and there was no way to find her in class. She was in fact in one class that no one knows if she was there. And then she was asked at the office to call, to use her cell phone to call her daughter. And her daughter could not answer the phone because this teacher did not allow her to answer the phone call because they, they're late, they were going to miss. And then they gave him the merits. And today, tomorrow, she'll be on in-house suspension because of use of that phone. But she called an emergency asked by one school official at the front office. Okay, my understanding of the question is you went to dismiss your daughter yesterday at Brockton High School. When they tried to find out what class she was in, she was not in the particular class and they couldn't find her. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. You made the suggestion or the administrator yeah, did make, to make use a suggestion the, to use her use phone to call the cell phone. Her. When she tried to answer mom's phone call, she was given a demand and sent to the office and tomorrow she will be on in house suspension. And did that happen while the parent was there? I mean, the child then came down to be dismissed, is my understanding. When she came to the office and then they said, no, you're not. You use this per our request. We're not going to give you the merit or anything else. But even though today she went to school today and then she said she was told to be on in-house suspension. Well, again, that doesn't, you know what? Sometimes when you're working in schools and you're working with children, there needs to be some common sense. First of all, I'm not sure why they couldn't find your child. That concerns me. We should have a sense of where every child is, you know, all during the day. So that's my first question. And then the second one is sometimes you have to use common sense. I'm glad they were able to find your child. I know with cell phones, we don't have an ironclad policy. Obviously, even today you came in and, and I know many of you probably deal just like I do. You go to church and they say, shut the phones off. You know, you go to a lecture and somebody says, shut the phones off. Well, we do the same thing in school. But in a case like this, the student answered the call, was found. Uh, um, um, I apologize that that happened, and, and I'll look into it as far as the demerits go. I'm confused. Até eu pensava que isso que aconteceu, mas normalmente que o menino está na escola deve saber do certo onde é que ele está na escola, naquele lugar que está o telefone, ele é de escola, que não é menino que pode usar o telefone, mas aquela situação especial, mandar de coisa, ele usa o que devia ter dado ele de merda, o que devia ficar de, de castigo, manhã, na escola. Entretanto, ele está para falar sobre o pessoal, porque ele sabe desses assuntos, depois ele pode fazer o que pode fazer para ele. Mas ele está garantindo que uma atitude foi justa, o menino tem que saber de onde é que está na escola, e nem vai jogar, ele tem que vir na hora, ele vir. Agora, o telefone, só que... Nas circunstâncias normais, ninguém pode usar o telefone, por exemplo, vai igreja, para qualquer lugar. Ele está para o fixo do telefone. Ok. Ok. Tanto é para ele para trabalhar na rede depois, nos próximos anos. Okay. I think she should not be in house, in suspension, in house. Correct. Time. Can I just make sure I have that information? Antes de intervir propriamente, queria dizer o seguinte. Queria dar boa noite a todos os presentes que estão aqui na sala e neste momento tão importante que visa a formação das nossas crianças aqui em Broughton com relação à educação. Eu tenho a experiência de trabalhar como professor e a senhora disse uma coisa e bem que é indispensável a ligação entre professores pais e pais professores. O pai deve estar junto do professor e um professor deve estar junto do pai para que possa proporcionar a evolução na aprendizagem das nossas crianças. Um outro facto que eu acho importante é que quando as nossas crianças vão para as escolas e encontrar professores a aplicar uma, um programa devidamente preparado de acordo com a tecnologia, com psicologia, pedagogia, é importante, quando as, é importante que os pais tenham cuidado quando as crianças foram para a escola para aplicar um ensino diferente isto pode perturbar a aprendizagem, a aprendizagem das crianças. Isto é importante, mas a ligação entre pai e professora é indispensável. Obrigado.
I'm very happy with this meeting. It's a wonderful meeting. Uh, I agree with you 100% when you said home school connection is the key for education. I will applaud that. And I think that we should be in touch with school, school with home, home with school. So for us to know what's been done in school and then to continue at home so a learning process can take place in better and better and better. Thank you. It, it's interesting though, uh, recently we just had something called a Title I breakfast. And when I was at the Huntington School today, the principal was sad that she didn't have a larger turnout of parents coming to the Huntington School Title I breakfast, which brings parents in with children. And I said to her, I want you to send something home to the parents to ask why because I had been to other schools in the district where there were hundreds of parents that came. It was early in the morning. And I'm wondering if it's because people have jobs they can't leave. It's a large Cape Verdean community at the Huntington School. And I'm questioning that because then I need to do that at a different time. I need to find out a way to make sure that the parents feel welcome in the school, they're part of their child's education, we're able to to do all of the things we do with English-speaking parents, with all of our parents. And I'd like to tell you one other story. When I was at the Baker School for another one of these meetings, uh, and I had 42 Haitian-speaking parents there, we had a great session, an hour just like this. And it was interesting to me because right next door there was a, a PAC meeting, a parent meeting going on with other children from the Baker School. We need to find a way, and there's a language barrier, but we need to find a way to bring both groups together with interpreters so everybody can be part of the parent group at the Baker, planning activities for their kids and feeling a part of the school. I can tell you all feel a part of the school here tonight. So that's a good thing and I thank your principals and your leadership team. Obrigado pela fato que ele tinha falado, portanto ele concorda 100%. Ele foi, por exemplo, hoje teve um pequeno almoço na escola Renan Tim para título 1. Título 1, programa de leitura especializado para meninos que mestre sobre um bocadinho mais a nível. Teve um pequeno almoço para isso que aparece ninguém. Triste. Triste. Porque escola, se te faz alguma coisa, é que se fazer chuva, mas se faz alguma coisa, pode ir se ter contato com o pai, se tem contato com o pai. Portanto, ele manda professores dizer que a escola Renan Tim para escrever para casa, para perguntar para muito quem escreve. Será por causa de horário? Será por causa de trabalho? Será por causa de outra coisa? Esse querer descobrir maneira de estar sempre em contato com o pai. Por exemplo, reunião que esteve na Baker School há dias, 40 e tal país, haitiano, reunião uma de um ar de tempo. Foi excelente. Foi excelente como trago de ideias, trago de impressão e eu creio continuo nessa administração na manter próximo de pais. Mas pais também tem que fazer um bocadinho também para aproximar a nossa escola também. Eu, eu penso que os pais têm uma obrigação grande, têm de ajudar os professores. E os professores que estão não fazem milagres. Without parents there will be no teacher, no learning. So we need to get involved, highly involved in school. You know, I, I, I live in Brockton. I'm a taxpayer in Brockton. And I got involved as much as I could. I have two adult daughters. They're very successful. They cause me all kinds of problems like teenagers do and all the things that normal kids do. But again, I'm here to tell you that I was very pleased with the Brockton Public Schools. I got involved as much as I could. I was involved in every aspect of their education. If they had a science fair, I made sure I helped with the project. I made sure I helped with the homework. So it is important and it is a partnership. We can't do it alone. We need every parent sitting here today to get involved as much as you can. And if there's a reason you're not, I need to hear a better way to get everybody involved. Portanto, no final, os comentam moram na Brockton, os filhos e para a escola na Brockton. Me participa tremendamente na produção da escola. Me também, como sou pretendente de negócio, que hoje é para todo o país, participa também, porque é a única forma de levar para frente. Portanto, o Brock não faz grandes coisas, mas o país também tem que fazer, e ele concorda também 100% com isso. Eu sou a Susan Noonan, este é o meu esposo, Sean. Nós temos um 15-year-old que está aqui na East, e é o seu último ano, na 8ª grade. Ele está na classe autística aqui, um, e faz parcial inclusão. Esta é a minha amiga Stacy Wright, ela tem um 7th grader aqui, Anthony, que um, é autística também. Ele está, na verdade, em full inclusão aqui na East. So our concerns that we wanted to share tonight really do focus on the special needs program. Um, and I do apologize for those that uh, these things won't apply to, but um, first of all, thank you so much for doing this. I, I don't recall ever having this type of opportunity before, and it's so important, and 
we feel really pleased to be here and, and really happy to have this opportunity to share these concerns with you. Uh, the first thing I want to share is how wonderful the staff is here at the school. Um, the principal, the assistant principal, um, the administration and the staff, they work so hard here. Um, they're wonderful. They know every kid. When I come here to visit, they're never in their office because they're always out um, talking to the kids, working with the kids, helping the kids. They attend our IEP meetings, which we've never experienced before at any other school where a principal would come and sit in and share share thoughts um, with the group and share suggestions. So we are so thankful that our child is attending the school. Um, we do have some concerns overall with services for specifically autistic children. Sure. Um, one of them just is, is around general placement for the kids. Um, we've kind of found in our experience, our son sort of falls in the middle of the spectrum of autism. And the spectrum is so very broad that I'm sure it's a huge challenge to meet the needs of all these kids. Um, and I think there needs to be expanded programs. So, you know, you've got kids that fall into the very high functioning category that can thankfully do full inclusion and there's a place for them. And you've got kids maybe that fall into um, the lower functioning category and they'd be placed in a substantially separate classroom. And then you've got some kids that have some pretty severe behaviors and sometimes these kids are getting placed in with these other kids, and that, that can be a big problem. Um, so that was just one thing I we, we wanted to share. Okay. First, do you want to? Oh, just. Senhora também faz a falta de um aluno que deve ser ali na escola, ser filho de escola, na educação especial, tem problema de autismo. Ele, o que é que ele quer fazer primeiro de tudo? Como isto é um excelente staff principal, assistente principal, todo gente um excelente, o tenta na escola ali, tem mesmo procura, fala com qualquer pessoa, o botão de como realmente, essa para tudo o bando, te cobre a escola, te subi meninos, portanto, ninguém cá está fechado, não sei o gabinete. Uh, mas também ele tem uma preocupação sobre a sala de aula que se fez, está nele, ele fala problemas que se fez de tudo, ele criou que esse programa está ser alargado, ampliado também para todo o gente que está ali, para tudo tratado de igual maneira. First of all, you know, when I mentioned that I taught at East, I taught a special needs class here. I taught a substantially separate class. There were children that had learning disabilities. It was a great place for, as a teacher, to make sure that when you heard me talk about the student council or all of doing the dances, I did that to make sure those kids could be included in everything, and this was a great place to have those children. When I visit your school, I agree, your principal walks me around, she knows everybody, and the team does. They know everybody in the classes. I love going into those special needs classes. It's like being home again. The kids immediately respond. She knows each one of them. They're excited to be here, and they, they feel part of the community. So that's goal number one and, and achieved here. What you're telling me about ASD children, about children on the autism spectrum, I'm hearing this all over the place, and I'm hearing it about individual children when I go into different schools. So it's, it's a widespread problem. I met with Laurie Mason uh, and her new assistant director the other day. You know, we're starting to talk about, again, looking at classes, making sure children are in appropriate classes. You heard me mention, uh, I, when I mentioned to you, I live in Brockton. I live on a street with two families, and there are three autistic children between two families. So we have conversation all the time. One of the things we just talked about was, again, the loss of learning in the summer. They weren't pleased with the number of hours that they have during the six-week program. And we're already talking about piloting something this summer for a special group of autistic children to see if we can come up with a program that might work better for them. We're talking about bringing you as special needs parents. It's mandated that special needs parents advise the school committee. A special need parent, Tony Donegan, who is one of your school committee members from Ward 3, brought this to my attention. I actually am a lawyer. I immediately went, looked up the law, brought Laurie Mason in and said, this is something we need to do. We need to set up a subcommittee of the school committee so parents can come and share these concerns because when the school committee hears you, it's a lot easier for me to budget some of these classes and making sure that the children are in appropriate placements. Primeiro de tudo, um crefra como não foi. Primeiro, professor de educação especial ali, um trabalho ali, todos que os ministros, todos que estão na escola, todos que realmente escrevem na escola. Já se fala de todos os problemas, já chega à conclusão que legalmente faz 
tem que se em contato com a escola, participa com a escola e, e depois explica que é a melhor maneira de resolver esse problema. É um problema geral, o problema de autismo está contínuo na escola. Me, na minha vizinhança, tem dois pais que têm meninos autistas, de não fala de mundo, de não faz um bocado de coisa. A Diz não reúne com o Lori Mason, que é diretor de educação especial, no sentido de resolver o problema, de melhorar a qualidade da escola, diversifica a sala de aula, pensa na colocação de cada menino, pode ser colocação de ser melhor, e também arranja um componente de verão, porque você pensa que aquelas seis semanas de verão cai é suficiente porque o menino autista tem de esquecer muito rapidamente e, consequentemente, que se volta para trás no próximo ano, que ele quer se prender no ano inteiro, já que eu consegui mais. Thank you. Uh, one of the other things that we've been expressing here that is so critical and I, I think is um, somewhat lacking is better social skills training for, for this population. Um, they do spend some time in school working on that, uh, but it, I think it needs to be a formal curriculum and it's, it's important to these kids as math or English or anything else. It needs to be a class um, taught by somebody trained to teach that. Um, and along with that, I think these kids need more social opportunities, things like lunch bunches, um, after school programs where they are encouraged to make friends and where appropriate behavior is modeled and where inappropriate behavior is corrected. These years are just so important to the kids. They're only in school for a certain amount of time and then a lot of these services end. Um, so we're hoping that something more formal can be put in place in, as it relates to, to social skills training. Um, as far as, um, sorry, I'm just trying to read all these notes that I have here. Uh, we wanted to talk about transition plans for these kids as well. I know when my son was coming up here, there wasn't really anything formal put in place, so we had requested a time for my son to come and visit. And they actually let us come during the summer, um, and the principal and assistant principal were here and gave Connor his own personal tour, which was very, very nice. Um, but there hadn't been anything really put in place for him to meet his teacher, and I don't think there was anything in place for his elementary teacher to help his teacher here kind of get to know him and understand what types of things he needed. I am really surprised to hear that, which is why I said this is great for me. When we did that on our own and we were here behind him, so we came up three or four times prior to him starting that I planned with the principal and the vice principal who are just go above and beyond, above and beyond. Well, again, I'm dating myself, but we always had an opportunity for the students coming from the elementary schools and the class I taught had kids from all over the district. It wasn't just kids from the east side of Brockton. I had kids all over the district in my class. Those children came up here. I got to meet them. It was a special day. I met the parents. When the children left East to transition to the high school, we brought them to Southeast and we brought them to Brockton High School. We made sure that they had that opportunity to transition. Well, I think it's an excellent suggestion. And as I said, that's the reason for talking tonight. You know, we will take, I usually have Jocelyn Meek here doing notes for me, our communications director. She's unable to be here this evening. We will take from cable all of this information and make sure, you know, and, and when the plan is done, it's a plan that I will unveil, you know, with the school committee. Uh, I hope the public takes an opportunity to come. We'll make sure parents have advance notice. And the plan will be something, it's a living plan. It'll be in the schools. Your principal should have it out there so parents see what the strategic plan is in the district. And to really hold us accountable, myself, the school committee, your teachers, your administration, to make sure these things are happening for our kids. That to me is an easy fix. Um, and one other thing, uh, I know that a number of years ago, I think my son was fairly young at the time, an outside consultant was brought in to do an overall evaluation of the ASD services and, and needs here in Brockton. And uh, his name was Barry Prison. He, I don't know if you know of him. Sorry, but what was the name? Barry Prisant. He's um, an autism, I guess, expert. Uh, and he was brought in and they did this outside assessment and they came up with a number of recommendations. But that was a long time ago. I want to say that was probably like eight or 10 years ago. 
um, I would just like you to maybe give some thought to having something like that done again because I, I really think there's a need for um, just experts in this area to come in and assess the needs of the district and what type of population you have and what are best practices right now um, because I, I think that a lot of that is missing from the current program. I think that's an excellent suggestion and as I said what I would like you to do also, I mean I'll share this information, is when we put together this group for parents, special needs parents, would you be willing to be part of that group and that's to be an advisory to the school committee and that's by law. So I'll be very, ha I'll be very happy, happy to, to speak hear to that. You. And I'm happy to hear about the group that you're forming for both bilingual and for special needs for our time for parents to get together. Um, but again, I think outside experts are so uh, so critical to this process as well. I know sometimes when we go to our meetings, you know, we're kind of still learning. We're by no means experts. We know our child, but we're by no means experts on what what services there are and what can be done for him. We're looking to you almost as we would a doctor if our son were ill. My other suggestion, um, and, and then I'll, my other suggestion is as far as your CPAC, there's been very little participation. I'm not sure why. I'm very happy to attend those meetings. You'll have me the whole time. I'll have Laurie Mason there with me and we can really start to work on some of these issues. Perdão que o senhor esteve a falar sobre específicos de ministros de educação especial, se fiz que é autista, e ela apresenta uma série de propostas para melhoria de condição de estudantes ali na escola, treinamento de pessoal, treinamento de estudantes, trabalho na aptidão social, maneira que ministro autista se relaciona com os outros colegas, traz a modelos ministros mais bem comportados na sala de aula, se comporta, programa de verão, portanto é uma série de propostas que o senhor já apresenta e o superintendente concorda com ela, espera que todo o país também te faça o mesmo proposta para melhoria de Good evening. Uh, first, I thank you, Superintendent, for creating this opportunity for us. As you can see, this is beautiful. I love this, and I wish we continue with these opportunities so that we have uh, parents who I know are very busy uh, because these are the Kindergarten parents, they're very busy. Is a community very dedicated to work and growth because that's what immigrant families do. And so that unfortunately affects their relationship with the school. So that's one of my concerns. For example, one of the things that I want to point is in which way is that the Brockton Public School will try to reach out to the families. Maybe the families should reach out to the school, but I know it's easier because uh, a lot of those families, because of the various language, culture, not understanding the school system, they're not able to, they don't feel comfortable to approach to the school. Sometimes small things like a, a message in Creole, like the one that I heard from Mrs. Frank, and I thank her for that, it's, it's a lot to these families. So that's one way to reach out to the parents. Another way could be just having a meeting with interpreters and make them feel welcome. The second point is the suspension policy uh, of the students. Let me talk about Brockton High School. We all know that Brockton is being affected by different types of problem and our youngsters are involved with that. And some of those youngsters came from Brockton High School, unfortunately. One of the problems that I see is sometimes, for whatever reason, the child does not go to, want to go to school, and then so he misbehaves, and then he's expelled. And when he's expelled, probably he doesn't want to go back. And when you give him another suspension, you're giving that child a, a, a reward for not being good. So I don't know if rethinking the uh, uh, suspension policy could be another way to approach the situation of, with uh, our younger sisters. First of all, to answer, oh, I'm sorry, if you want to. Portanto, se o senhor pergunta, ele falou em dois pontos para a escola. Porque a comunicação com a escola, caso, é importante. É, pais, mesmo de entrar em contato com a escola, mas a escola também tem que criar outras condições para, para contactar. 
casa. Por exemplo, uma simples mensagem na crioula, no telefone, é de grande valor para muitos pais, porque se tem um problema de comunicação, às vezes sim, até mil de bem pascal, portanto, tem que abrir comunicação com pais. Segundo ponto é, é regulamento de suspensão de escola. Porque ela está acreditando, resumindo, ela está falando como tem que suspender o menino num beijo, ou suspender duas vezes. Ou se pagar para fazer uma criação, portanto, ela está na fase, se é que eu gosto de escola, ela continua com a escola. Portanto, estou de maneira de resolver aquele problema de suspensão. First of all, you bring up the question of communicating. I am open to any suggestions, and I went to another school, and that's it. I was at North uh, Middle School two weeks ago, and the parents said to me that we have a principal that speaks Cape Verdean Creole, speaks Portuguese, uh, Marcia Andrade Serpa, and she was able to contact the families, you know, message in their language, and that makes them feel comfortable. So I understand that. And it's something that we obviously need to do better. You're basically saying the same thing. And I'm open to suggestions. If you want to give suggestions to Principal Silva and her staff about ways that you can communicate, or we can communicate better with you to make you feel a part of the school, I'm certainly open to any of that. I want you also to know that I'm available to you at any time. When I tell you I live here, I live here. You know, I'm right here in Brockton. I've been here 30 years. I'm here, I'm willing to come on a Saturday. I'm willing to come on a Sunday. I'm willing to come in the evening. I'm willing to come whenever you're available and you want to sit and have dialogue with the superintendent about things that, that I need to hear about the system. So I'm available certainly to do that. When you mention the suspensions, it is difficult. We have tried many things. You know, we set the rules. You know, we have handbooks, we have policies, we have rules that we need to follow. And if students disobey the rules, there's demerits, there's suspensions, depending on the level of the behavior. And I think what you said to me is sometimes a child knows that, maybe wants to hang home for a day. What better way to be out of school, which is not a good thing for the district. We've had in-house suspensions. You know, we've tried many of these things. Um, maybe what we need to do too is at certainly the middle school, high school level, form a task force where people cross all cultures, we're all dealing with the same things with teenagers, with the community, with trying to keep our kids in school so they can be successful, they can stay out of getting in trouble. That's not what any of us want. And they're too young and they make bad decisions. So we need to see how we can support them. So I hope you get that understanding from me that, again, when I mention a task force, that's something that I'd like to have dialogue and we can start to see if we can come up with a solution across the district. Portanto, ele fala que concorda com ele plenamente e a sugestão que ele faz é sobre comunicação em casa, escola, que é muito importante e ele está, também pediu para ele entrar em contato com ele, para servir num task force, para realmente, penso que a situação, pode ocorrer aqui em melhor maneira, ter contato com o caso, com o pai, com a língua, com o turismo, etc. E na segunda questão de suspensão, também ele está pedindo para participar com a escola, pode ir para criar uma outra maneira de resolver esse problema de suspensão, porque nos problemas de suspensão na escola, suspensão fora de escola, mas nos está ver também a procura sabe melhor outra maneira que não pode lidar com o problema de suspensão na escola. Uh, não estou a fazer duas perguntas mais porque essa quase está a perder voz. Antes de perder voz, não estou a perder voz. Primeira pergunta, e se tiver outra gente outra pergunta, não estou a fazer a última pergunta do dia e pronto para hoje. Obrigado. Uh, boa noite, meu estudo. Antes de fazer a intervenção, da pedir para o meu estudo um salvo de palmas para essa oportunidade que nós superamos hoje. A senhora, ela é amiga de Campos Verdianos, é uma mulher, um líder, que se vê para liderança, num estilo de liderança inclusivo. Por isso, que todos os vós, todos os uh, apoios que eu tenho para a Pascal é um trabalho de equipa. Uh, também fazer alguns. Uh, uh, sugestões. So I'm going to make some uh, uh, present some issues and concerns I have. If I cannot continue, I will try to see if I can have an opportunity to uh, ask for an appointment. So first, uh, uh, it's communication. So uh, as we are demonstrating here this evening, communication with Cape Verde in Brockton must be done in two languages. English and Creole. And translation as well should be done in Cape Verde language. So I am a teacher at Brockton High School, and sometimes uh, I feel embarrassed to uh, answer to my students why 
they do not have an opportunity to learn their language. Cape Verde language at the high school, it's not offered. Myself, I teach Cape Verde language at the Massasoit Community College. And I tell them that they have that opportunity. And some students from some other high schools in this area, they uh, enroll in the course and they learn the language. So communication, again, should be done in English, Creole, and Portuguese. At this time, I do not think that uh, Creole is used to communicate with parents. That's the language that the kids will speak. It is the native language. So we need to, uh, to try to make this happen. Uh, another thing is the parents. We need to empower parents. Uh, in Boston, by the way, the Boston Public Schools website, it is available in Creole. I do not understand why we don't have that in Brooklyn yet. It should happen. We have the capacity, we have teachers, and we have the competence to do that. And I'm sure that with the, our new superintendent, it's going to happen. Uh, so they have in Boston a uh, university for parents to educate year and ELM student. Sometimes we need to educate the family. We need to educate the neighborhood. And we need to educate the community at large. So uh, I hope that uh, we are going to take this into consideration to make that happen as well. Uh, another uh, course that we used to have in the bilingual department is the Cape Verde Language and Culture. For our students to value their roots, for us to uh, empower them so they are not going to, uh, to fall in the category of those who are going to be in crisis of identity. Sometimes they are emerged, it's very good for them to uh, adapt and adjust to the new culture, but we need to make sure that they are going to not to lose their own identity. Uh, so uh, we need to uh, establish partnership and exchange program with uh, Cape Verde. I just came from vacation. I went on vacation to uh, Cape Verde this summer. I had the opportunity to meet with some mayors, some teachers and administrators. And by the way, the good news, so uh, we changed the, the algebra books at Brockton High School. We have some books ready to be shipped to Cape Verde. This is a very good initiative, and we are going to hope that this is going to happen. So the materials in Cape Verde, so here all the students, they have a book for free. In Cape Verde, they have no access to some materials. And some of them, they are waiting for a flight to come to Brockton. So those who are in that situation, they would appreciate this kind of help from us. Uh, one last thing is the summer school program. In the past, we used to have summer school programs for ELM students. We no longer have that now. I would appreciate if you could try to restate that. So, uh, Augusto is telling me, my friend Augusto is telling me that we had one last year. And it was good, so we need to continue that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've worked with Agnello for a long time, and I'm certainly happy to sit down and address all your concerns. Uh, I like the idea about the website, and we are trying to upgrade the website. Um, you mentioned Cape Bird. I actually last spring was invited to the office of Dr. Dana Molafaria, the president of Bridgewater State University. And Dr. Molafaria is Cape Verdean. And he talked to me, being the new superintendent in Brockton, about having an opportunity to go with him to Cape Verde. I'm not a great traveler, but I'd love to go. I'd love to see the schools. I would love to learn about the culture and be able to come back and have a sense of, again, what people are dealing with. My relatives came from Italy. My parents, mother and father, spoke no English, very broken English. They were a hard-working family like all of you, and I'm standing here today as your superintendent of schools in the Brockton Public Schools. So every one of us needs that support. Uh, I know this is coming to an end this evening, but as I said, I'm more than happy to come at another time uh, on a regular basis, and I'm happy to meet with you and hopefully am able to move some of these initiatives along.
É, portanto, não se quase na fim do segundo ele fala, ele agradece a todos os intervindos para ele ir a ser disposto, bem numa outra altura, ele fala que o país, a reunião foi muito importante, portanto, próxima volta, tinha os bem autobers, tinha os engenheiros de sala, e depois não faz pergunta. No fraco, eu tinha duas perguntas que não fazem, mas é que se pode papiar mais? É que se pode papiar mais? Porque papiar por mim, depois não te fazer chega, bom. Só um minuto. Just a minute. Então, para agradecer a escola de Ronatim e este escuro, que minha filha Melinda Barros, Gerson, Gerson ainda se estuda na Ronatim, graças à escola, nunca tive nenhum problema com esses bons alunos, bons professores, bons escolas, Ronatim e este escuro, as contra com bons professores. Obrigado e Melinda apanha o programa na Bridge War, ele ficou contente, me ficou contente, acho que tive um problema, então para agradecer a escola, obrigado por todo o coordenador. All I need to say is thank you for the entire staff of East Junior High. I have two kids here, they're doing great, they're achieving well. Melinda Barrows, my daughter, went to leadership program at the Bridge Water State College. She loved it, now she has a notion of what to do next. So thank you for the entire school system. Boa noite para todo o professor. A mim da forma que eu não mongo saber inglês, me dá para obrigar para todo o professor que se ajuda o nosso filho, o Verdiano. Mas só quero ter um pouco de esforço, que é o que o nosso filho, bem escola, do mês de ter professor, para não receber mais na casa, se eu direito, que farei na escola. Eu tenho que dar um apoio para o nosso professor que se ajuda o nosso filho, para um grande trabalho para o professor. Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. Again, my child is doing well in here. We need to get more involved so school can do more and more to our children. My children is doing well. Okay. Thank you very much. Good evening. Don't forget there's goodies here, there's cookies, desserts. Please help yourselves. I think we probably needed more, but... Also, uh, we also have one last forum next Wednesday night, the 30th of October, at West Middle School.